As I stood in the entry hall, the voices echoing towards me, I realized I had fallen right into Lisa's trap. My younger sister had convinced me to spend the evening together, promising that we would just hang out, watch TV, and put aside our usual arguments. It had been months since Lisa's attitude towards me had shifted, and she had finally let go of blaming me for dad leaving. Dad had always been disappointed with me. He'd often call me a sissy because I wasn't into sports and other things he and Lisa enjoyed. One day, during a particularly heated argument about dad, I lashed out at Lisa, telling her that she was just angry at me for not being the brother she wished she had. Little did I know that this statement would plant the seed for what was about to happen. Lisa had decided on her plan. She wanted to expose who she believed I really was, thinking it would justify our father leaving. It wasn't difficult for her to convince me to go along with her scheme after we had reconciled. Lisa even let slip that she used to wish I were a girl so she could have a big sister to look up to. Now, as I stood there, on the brink of humiliation, I realized that Lisa had succeeded in her revenge. My mom and cousins appeared around the corner, and Lisa was pointing at me, declaring, I tried to tell you, Mom. Connie wants to be a girl, look at her. Tears welled up in my eyes as I understood that there was no way I could make them believe the truth. Lisa had won, and I was powerless to do anything about it. Despite my reluctance to be a girl, there was a strange sense of acceptance in this moment, as I had once again become Lisa's big sister, even if only for a short while. The room filled with tense silence as my mom and cousin stared at me with a mixture of confusion and concern. I could feel their eyes scrutinizing my appearance, my clothes, my mannerisms, searching for any sign of the person Lisa had claimed me to be. Lisa stood there, triumphant, her smug grin telling me that she had achieved her revenge. But there was something in her eyes that hinted at a hint of guilt, as if she realized the gravity of what she had done. Still, it was too late to turn back now. My mom finally broke the silence, her voice trembling with disbelief, Connie, is this true? She looked at me, her eyes searching for answers. I wanted to explain, to tell them the truth, but my voice caught in my throat. How could I make them understand that this was all a twisted plot by my own sister to get back at me? I couldn't find the words. Lisa, not missing a beat, continued her charade. Yes, Mom, it's true. Connie has been acting like this for a while now. I was just trying to protect you from the truth. I thought maybe if you saw for yourself, you'd believe me. My cousins chimed in with a mix of shock and sympathy, bombarding me with questions. Is this why Dad left? Are you really a girl now? Tears streamed down my face as I struggled to respond. I wanted to defend myself, to tell them that none of this was true, but I felt trapped. My mom's gaze was filled with confusion and hurt, and I couldn't bear to see her disappointed in me. Finally, I managed to choke out a few words, I'm not. I'm not trying to be a girl. Lisa's lying. Please, you have to believe me. But my plea seemed to fall on deaf ears. Lisa's manipulation had done its damage, and I was left feeling helpless and betrayed. The evening that was supposed to be about bonding with my sister had turned into a nightmare, one from which I couldn't wake up. As I stood there, surrounded by skeptical eyes, I couldn't help but wonder how I would ever undo the web of deception that Lisa had woven around me.